This quilt has paper piecing, lots of borders, free motion quilting, and walking foot quilting. Welcome to Eva Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So this quilt was my Island Boutique Ambassador project for the month of June. Our challenge for June was we had to use a specific fabric collection that we were given and we had to make a New York beauty quilt. So this was really challenging because I have never made New York beauty blocks before. It's been something on my quilting bucket list, but I've just never gotten around to it. So I was excited and a little bit nervous of the curved piecing when I began. So I used the Harvest Night Fabric Collection. And this is a beautiful fabric collection in dark blue and golds and some oranges and some browns. And it's a really, really nice collection. And when I started to plan out my quilt, I began to look at all the different options that are available for New York Beauty quilt blocks. Because I knew I didn't have a lot of time, I decided to go with the very simplest block that I could find. So it's just a basic curve with the points out from the curve. The blocks that I made were six inches square and I ended up paper piecing them. Originally, I was thinking I might be able to do 64 blocks, but due to time constraints, I was only able to do 16. And even with 16, I realized there was a lot of different layout options that I could do. So I put them out on the floor and I tried some different layout options. So you can see some of them and see if you like the one I chose or if you think I should have gone with a different choice. But in the end, I chose the one and it had a sunshine in the middle and the diagonal lines on the sides. And I just really liked that one, um, how it looked and how it came together. When I had my 16 blocks made and put them together, then I just added some borders with other fabrics from the collection to make it a bigger size quilt. When it was done, I knew I had to do something special to finish it. And so I broke out free motion quilting. Now I'm a big proponent of simple quilting and finishing your pieces uh, quickly and easily with walking foot quilting and straight lines and wavy lines. But I just thought this special piecing in the middle deserved special quilting treatment. So I did loops out from the center into the quarter circle pieces and it looks kind of like a flower and it emphasizes that shape. Then I outlined and did an echo line in the triangles coming out from that and then I did a small stippling throughout the blue background. I don't do a lot of free motion quilting but sometimes it adds a nice touch to the project. On the first border I did a little free motion ribbing quilting and then on the rest of the borders I did straight line walking foot quilting and I think the straight lines offer a nice contrast against all the curvy free motion lines. For the back of the quilt I pieced together other pieces from the same collection so the back does coordinate with the front of the quilt. I also use fabric from the collection for the contrasting binding, which I think gives it a nice frame around the edge. This quilt finishes at 45 inches square, so it's a nice size for a lap quilt or to be draped over the back of the couch. If you want to see more details and pictures of the quilt and the quilting, you can click on the link below. And as always, for quilting tips, tricks, and tutorials, check out evadastudio.com.